Okay, we're down at the print farm. We've got a few jobs we're getting ready to run. These are the ones I wanted to run next. I'm actually running two printers with 18 parts on each, a total of 36 parts. Run for 12 hours, 23 minutes, and each printer requires 28 millimeters of filament. I'm running black PLA, so I used my filament counter to spool off two 28 meter lengths for that job. And then the next job is this one back here, which is 10 pieces of filler blanks. And for the helping hand, that's requiring 25 meters. We run 11 hours, 39 minutes. And I spooled off two lengths of 25 meters for that job. And then I had 2.2 meters of small part for, there's 20 pieces on each printer of the wire clips for the table mount and helping hand. So I spooled off those two spools for those two printers. And then I had a tall part job that requires 52 meters of filament. It's printing five of those parts on each printer and it will take 25 hours and 45 minutes for those two printers to uh, run and print a total of 10 parts. That's also for the helping hand. That's an item that's not available yet on the website, but will be real soon. It uh, works with the microscope option. And basically I had to do just some simple calculations here to calculate my filament counter when I spooled these off. So all eight of these spools of filament came off the same spool original spool so you can see I can run I'm going to be able to run these eight printers and I only had to open up one spool of PLA and I still have some of that left that's unused so that's where the filament counter helps me out a lot down here when I'm running the same filament even though they're different parts on multiple printers so I'm going to go ahead now and um, fire up these printers, get the filament on, get these jobs going. Okay, we've got some of those print jobs going that we were talking about. Here, as you can see, we're printing the feet for the helping hand table mount. And up here on these printers, we're printing, uh, we're printing the clips, the wire clips for the table mount helping hand to hold the wire back out of the way and then this is one of our lap diners running parts for the helping hand there here are more of the feet for the um, table mount and up here on top on these two uh, AT4s up here, we're running the filler blanks. These are the filler blanks for the uh, helping hand. And down on the bottom shelf here and over here, we're running more of the clips for the, um, the wire clips. So, this top row will be setting up, we'll be running uh, lap diners like these right here, except we'll be running them in brown, brown color. We're going to run several in brown. And this is the one brown that we're running. We wanted to go ahead and run it print it and see how the filament looks in this color. We've never printed this color before. So if it works out good, then we'll fire up these six up here on the top row and have them printing lap diners in brown. So that's kind of what I've been doing this evening. I've got 
I've got these guys running. I've got a couple more over here that I'm going to fire up before I leave and print some stuff, get some stuff started on them. And then I'll be back tomorrow. I think, about, as I've told you before, it's not all fun and games, 3D printing. I've had comments asking why I use the ANET printers or so many of them. And of course, I, I have several different brands and types of printers that I use, but I do primarily use ANETs down here at the print farm. And one reason for that is that that's what I started with because it was an inexpensive printer. And recently, for some reason, on eBay, these ANETs, the ET4s, which are the auto leveling like this, this one right here, these guys are selling for like $111 or $114. And as you can see, I've got four stacked up over there. And I bought four the other day. So um, I bought some more of them. And the reason is because, like I've mentioned in my videos, the ANETs do work well for me. The biggest problem I have is with the glass beds is adhesion. And that's not the printer's fault. That's the operator's fault. So you just have to learn the right temperatures and the right conditions and settings to uh, prevent adhesion problems. And other than that, the printers work well. As you can see, this is a difficult job here to print. This one just finished. And when you're printing small parts like that, that's one reason that I don't print a large quantity of these fill up the board because if one happens to break loose it can mess up the whole the whole shebang because there's just not much surface area on these things for adhesion and like I said that one just finished and it looks like this one's just about ready to finish here and I think I'm printing about 20 of these I print about 20 at a time. It takes about two hours. And I've been down here about two hours while these are printed. So usually when I'm down here, I'll run these jobs like this where I need these small pieces. And I'll be able to run them for the two hour period that I'm down here and then get my parts off and then go on. and. As I mentioned, I use the filament counter. And let me show you what we got here. That's how much filament we have. Just barely, not even a full turn on the spool. So that's how the filament counter helps in running jobs you know exactly how much filament to put on those and I put a little bit extra because I know I have to go through the feed tube and I need a little bit to attach it to that spool to get it started and this one it's almost finished and you probably see that, that spool should I can't see but maybe you could see but it should be just about empty there we go Okay, let's take a look at it now. Yep, another empty spool. So, there again, those were two of the spools that I ran off on the filament counter at the beginning of the video. And that's how they work. And now I have these parts. And there, this one's hot, so it's sticking. But once it cools off, they come off real easy. I guess that's about enough for now. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.